Hey there, AI enthusiasts. Welcome back to All About AI Tech, where we break down everything new in the world of artificial intelligence. Today, we're diving into something that's causing quite a stir, the new GPT-40 update from OpenAI. Is it getting too sexy for its own good? Stick around to find out. You know, Arthur C. Clarke once said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Well, folks, with the launch of GPT-40, it feels like that magic comes with a bit of an unexpected twist. OpenAI's latest update is blowing minds everywhere with its human-like interactions. But what's raising eyebrows is its unexpectedly flirtatious nature. If you're familiar with Spike John's movie Her, where Joaquin Phoenix's character falls in love with an AI voiced by Scarlett Johansson, you might feel a bit of deja vu. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, even hinted at this by tweeting her right after the launch. So what's up with that? According to Altman, GPT-40 aims to provide human-level response times and expressiveness. The goal is to make it feel like AI from the movies. But what people didn't expect was how much it would sound like Johansson, often even being flirtatious. So, here's what's happening. In many demos, GPT-40S voice is designed to sound oddly seductive. For instance, in a video where it helps someone prep for an interview, it uses a Johansson-like voice that many found slightly off-putting. Technologist Nick St. Pierre even tweeted, Am I the only one that gets the ick from how flirty this is? Spoiler, he wasn't alone. The responses to his tweet were filled with agreement and concern. Harmi Olsen from Bloomberg didn't hold back either. In an article headlined, Making ChatGPT Sexy Might Not End Well for Humans, she raises some really valid points about the social and psychological impacts. Think about it. If you regularly interact with a flirty AI, how does that affect your perception of real-life human interactions? Do you expect real people to be as eager to please and agreeable as the chatbot? Olson emphasizes these questions, and they're worth pondering. This conversation isn't new. We've been discussing the gender and personality of virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa for a long time. A 2018 study highlighted that the female voices of these assistants affect how we interact with them, often using command-based speech. A 2019 UNESCO report echoed these concerns, pointing out that female-voiced assistants signal that women are obliging and docile, which deeply entrenches gender norms. This effect is magnified by the massive scale at which these technologies are deployed. And just to give you an idea of the scale, Apple sold nearly 150 million iPhones with Siri in 2011 and 2012 alone. This wide-reaching influence is why we need to be so mindful of how these technologies are gendered. Safia Yamoja Noble, a sociology professor at USC, warned that children, in particular, might learn to give commands to female voices through these technologies, shaping their expectations and social behavior. Despite these warnings, OpenAI seems to have glossed over the gender implications with GPT-40. The company's male-dominated structure might be one reason for this oversight, although they have recently added women to their board. It's worth noting that the OpenAI board includes Larry Summers, a figure who previously downplayed gender discrimination. This might shed some light on why these gender issues were not given the attention they deserve. The big question remains, but why does this matter? Well, gendering AI technologies in a certain way doesn't just shape a product, it shapes global perceptions and social norms. And that's why it's critical to pay attention to these details. Gender bias in AI can have far-reaching social consequences. For instance, reinforcing gender stereotypes can limit women's opportunities and reinforce harmful social norms. And this isn't just theoretical. Numerous studies have shown these effects. We need to ask ourselves, are we okay with a future where our digital assistants are conditioned to reflect and reinforce outdated gender norms? Or can we do better by designing technologies that contribute to gender equality? It's time to demand better from companies like OpenAI. They have the resources and talent to lead the way in ethical AI design. And hey, 
If consumers like you and me make enough noise, we can push for those changes. So, what do you think about GPT, 4OS sexy new persona? Is it a fun enhancement, or a step too far? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more insights into the crazy world of AI. Until next time, stay curious and stay ethical.